Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to be discussing about how we can augment the text data using Parrot. So recently I have came across this awesome repository prepared by Prithviraj Damodaran and he explained the Parrot uh, framework in a very well defined way. So this Parrot framework uses paraphrasing to augment the text data. So before we move into, uh, into the implementation of Parrot Framework and see the argument, how the augmentation works, let us understand wh what does this paraphrasing means. So paraphrasing means that if you have a text or you have, if you have a sentence, so you're going to generate a new sentence but containing the same meaning which was there in the original sentence. So this is the meaning of the paraphrasing. And we generally use it in the chatbot or generation of the new kind of data uh, by using the same text data present in our data set. So this is how we generally uh, augment the text data and generate more data on the given data set. And the same thing is done over here by using this Parrot framework. So you can over go here and understand like what are the things are given in this particular framework and you can utilize this. Uh, awesome repository for your augmenting the text data. So now let's jump to the code and let's see how this works. So as an installation, I have installed uh, this whole GitHub repository and all of the dependencies required to use this uh, particular uh, Parrot framework. So I have used this pip, pip install and given this link to uh, install the uh, dependencies required for installing Parrot framework. And then once the installation has been completed, uh, I just imported Parrot from Parrot. So this is the function which which generally Parrot uses inside it. And then I'm importing some uh, PyTorch uh, uh, dependencies also backend. And this is just a simple code for uh, imp improving on or ignoring the warnings which are generally produced while running the codes. So this is the just an import I am doing from uh, the Parrot and, and general PyTorch import. And once this uh, import is done, uh, we're going to be using this Parrot function from this Parrot uh, framework. And we will just uh, import a model called T5 model. So this generally, this Parrot framework generally uses T5 model at the back end, which is a state of art model. It came after BERT and it has all kind of uh, text data, which has been trained on transformer uh, model. So it has been trained on 175 gigabyte of data. So it's very, it's a very good multitasking model for all kind of text summarization for all kind of NLP processes, which are generally happen in the NLP world. So you can use this T5 model for n number of uh, NLP um, uh, advanced tasks. So, but here the Parrot framework also uses this uh, T5 model at the back end to generate or to paraphrase our given text so it's 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 very simple to just get import this uh, paraphrasing uh, uh, paraphrasing framework over here and use this t5 model inside the paraphrasing uh, parrot framework so this is how it is done so we just take the parrot function from the parrot framework and we just take uh, this link and we'll pass into this model tag uh, parameter inside the parrot function and we just load this model and just for the demonstration, I have taken only two sentence to just check it out, like how this Parrot framework works. So I have taken two sentences. You can even pass a, a list or series of your sentences inside this inside this Parrot framework. So I have taken the two sentences, which are uh, I enable to access my Facebook ac account and what are the best courses available for learning data science. So these are the two sentences I have taken and I have saved in a variable called phrases. So we have a function to augment the text data. So in this Parrot uh, function or this Parrot uh, uh, model or framework, we are we have a function called augment. So this is what we are using to augment the text data or generate a, a new kind of text uh, data for a uh, original data set. So I, have, I am passing inside this function augment function i am passing this uh, sentences all these phrases which are there which i have taken for the demonstration so this is what the for loop is doing so it is iterating inside this list and it is taking each and every uh, phrases inside this and uh, passing inside this augment function and then we are using this uh, 
paraphrasing to just print out the uh, the result what is going to be generating by using this uh, sentence so let's uh, so let's see how does this works so once you initiate this uh, cell so you will see the downloading happen so all kind of models that is the t5 model is getting downloaded and all its dependencies is getting downloaded at the back and you can see it's a quite heavy model so you can see a lot of downloads are been happening with uh, gigabytes of uh, data and once the download is, download is finished so you can uh, see the output is coming out and you can see this is the input phrase which we have given and by using this parrot framework it has generated th these many uh, text so you can see uh, i have given i unable to access my facebook accounts so it has generated a new uh, sentence saying that i can't log into the facebook and in another uh, sentence i am saying it is i am not able to view facebook I can't see my Facebook account. So this all you can see it's so you can see it has a uh, same meaning but has different sentence. So it has contained the meaning what was there in the original sentence and it has presented in a different form in by by generating these many taxes. So the the meaning is same that that means the intent is same of all the sentence and even this sentence but the words are very different. So this is how it is done. And even if the if we have second sentence that is uh, what are the best courses available for learning data science so you can see it has given an output like which is the best way to learn data science and list the best courses for data science what are the best courses for learning uh, data science so you can see data science has now been replaced by dsc so look how good it is to generate a new kind of data set and you can generate uh, a better data set from your uh, given sentence so this is what the paraphrasing is and this is how you are containing the meaning uh, while generating a new text and uh, and you can improve on it more so this is what the parrot framework utilizes and how it does is and how it uses the t5 model and uh, so there are many functionalities inside this so we're going to be looking at that as well so so if you are seeing that uh, we want to improve the accuracy on paraphrasing as well so so paraphrasing is only defined well you can say when it has been very diverse so the output which has been generated it is very diverse and it has very adequacy and fluency so diverse means uh, when you have been given a data set so how much the diversity it has been able to provide to the data set while the generation so how many numbers of diversification it has been able to do uh, with a given number of sentence and uh, the adequacy means how the fluency or how the accurately the grammatical of the language which has been exposed to the model so how it is able to uh, flourish that as well so this is what an adequacy and fluency mean so once these three these three parameters are achieved so we can say that paraphrasing is better that is that is it is able to generate a good sentence or good paraphrasing with containing all this diversity and adequacy and fluency together so once these three are defined then we can say that okay the paraphrasing is good so let's see how we can tune this uh, model and by using these parameters so you can see i have copied the same code what i have written above so for improving on the diversi diversification and education fluency we have three parameters inside this augment function so i have given do underscore diverse and adequacy threshold and fluency threshold so you can uh, see that uh, I have I have been I have not been using uh, till now the do diverse 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 function till now, but uh, for for the for the change what I am doing is I am just keeping it as true now. So I we want diversification that it should generate a uh, n number of uh, text or sentences by a given text or sentence so that it should it should be little diverse from the original one. And I am giving the adequacy threshold as point nine n that is. It should be performing uh, better at uh, the understanding the language and grammatical things should be fluent and everything. So with that respect, I am giving this threshold and fluency threshold is just a part of uh, the information which generally uh, given to the model regarding the English language. So you can find you can find the uh, definition of these things inside this uh, repository. You can see it is it has it has been clearly mentioned over here how those things work and what are this adequacy influence and diversity means so you can play with this uh, functions as well uh, parameters as well and you can change the value according to the use case you want to achieve 
and how much accuracy and how much diversification you want to achieve on your uh, particular data set so this is what you can do and you can pass this sentence to this uh, augment uh, function and you can start generating the uh, paraphrases uh, by giving the sentence so you can see uh, by using these thresholds and uh, given the diversification uh, we are able to generate few sentences by using uh, the given sentence so you can see um, uh, for the given sentence it is able to say i can't access my facebook account so which means the same and now you can see it hasn't printed can't with apostrophe t but here you can see it has printed with i can't access my facebook account and similarly you can see here it is saying i am not able to access my facebook account and here you can see i am not i am unable to access my facebook account so this is diversification which, which we are talking about and you can see the grammatical mistakes were very very less and it's very fluency so fluency is also very uh, very good over here by the by the, the by the new text generated uh, from this uh, input uh, sentence and similarly you can see what are the best resources available for the uh, for learning data science so if you compare from the above we, we didn't got any uh, sentence which says uh, a very different from the uh, previous sentence what what we have given because here the diversification was very less that, that that means we didn't provide any kind of argument over here for diversification but here you can see we after giving the diversification is equal to true we are able to generate a new sentences that is you can see it means it says uh, recommend some good data science course so if you compare from the above it it didn't print it such kind of uh, sentence because diversification was false and after diversification it has uh, come with a new kind of sentence which means the same actually it means the same like what are the best courses available for the learning data science so it, we are asking for the person to just recommend us uh, what is the best data science course so it just it says it it has produced the same kind of intent and with this with a different text so you can see uh, recommend some data science course what is a good data science course it's also the same what is a good data science to learn data science from and tell me the best course for learning data science can you list the best course for learning data science so the, you can see the how the diversification is working and it is pretty much good uh, if you see the uh, the generation of the text and how the paraphrasing are being done so you can see how you can improve your model by by just getting these kind of things into your model and how you can input your data set to uh, a much more diverse data set by using these kind of techniques uh, or you can use this parrot, parrot framework for improving on your data set so this is what uh, generally parrot, parrot does and even you can uh, play with uh, many kind of uh, 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 settings around this and i just at the last i just want to show you like uh, there is one more function which we generally use inside this parrot which is called a rephrase so it works almost similar to this uh, augmentation. It just uh, uh, print a, a rephrase of a particular sentence. So it's not that valuable, but uh, just for the uh, presentation of this tutorial to complete this parrot framework. So I just have included this. So you can see this is a, a rephrase function and you just have to pass the phrase, whatever the phrase inside the list. And it is doing the same work. And, but it is not able to, it is not printing uh, the whole of the text generated. It's just able to say, contain or it's just able to contain the uh, intent of it and it is just printing a sentence so this is what a rephrase function is doing over here so but most of the valuable things for uh, uh, for augmentation is our uh, augment uh, function and uh, you can you you can play with this do diverse parameter and adequacy threshold and fluency threshold to make your data set more uh, valuable and more repos reproducible for your model so I think uh, this is all about this video and I hope you enjoyed this and if you like my content please do subscribe to my channel. I have been covering uh, many kind of videos regarding NLP and uh, object detection and in the world of machine learning as well. So please do subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you.